It's uh, 5.31 p.m. Thursday, uh, March 28, 2024, United States, New Jersey. Well, I'm very tired. I just wanted to say a few things. For some reason, it feels like it's after midnight or in the middle of the night, even though it's, you know, 5.30 in the afternoon. Okay, I'm back. I took a couple of hours to do a few things here, including eating. I wasn't prepared to do this. Too tired, I needed to eat and do some things. I was doing some Google searches. I was on YouTube doing scrolling, seeing what's going on. And um, Israel Diego Rivera genius too, the real genius that's the name of the channel and I was thinking that maybe he would come out with a video any moment here and so the within the delay he did and it said a half hour ago that was a while ago a little while ago so I listened to to his video his newest video he's talking he talks about the bridge collapse and how that is a major signaling and I agree and I was going to talk about that and I might mention that a bit here um, so if you want to go to his channel and listen to that to his videos he explains all of that and the video that I did go back maybe a, I don't know a dozen or more the one about February 22nd America will end and his quotes um, you'll see the link there if uh, you just click it on it should it should be there so if you want to go you'll you could hear all the all of that what this is all about in detail there's a lot to it it's not something to just you know if you don't know if you don't understand if you're not familiar with all of this what it means then it really needs to do some research to find out but he's a bit um, uncertain about what's going on, like with La Palma and the flood and a comet and how this all ties in, whether that has to do with the end of this year or now or something. But he said he's saying that a major, major event is coming and it has to do with the eclipse. I agree with that, no matter what it is, how it comes about or doesn't come about, something major is up. And sitting here again, in my gut, something major is up. That's that's all I could sense. That's what I what I could say. And again, we don't go by feelings or signaling or really any other thing per se. But um, for me, at least, this feeling uh, continues. And um, waiting up till this eclipse and seeing if the air clears again and this, uh, you know, sort of danger or warning or uh, whatever, something impending happen, happening, whether, whether it does or not, we'll, we'll see about that. And that's about it with that. We just have to wait and see if anything transpires. And there's a lot going on. There's a lot of possibilities, including earthquakes um, with the planetary alignments, and so on. Whether whether the eclipse has could could influence that, and there's been something stated that the last time this happened with this type solar eclipse, there was a major major earthquake, and that's what he's predicting. Not necessarily with the eclipse. It's a bit early on his prognostications. Um, but did I mention his name or the name of the channel? I'll say it again. S S S S geos g-e-o-s and that's what he does planetary geomet uh, geometry and he's expecting possibly or even probably maybe a large very large quake really any time up till you know into this weekend anyway what i was saying about the last time this occurred with uh solar eclipse this exact thing there was a major major earthquake and whether that there's similarities to that and also the fact that um, something to do with the magnetism 
created by this where the moon goes in front of, of the sun and it messes up the magnetism somehow and this could possibly you know the energy from that or the magnetic flow or flux or what have you could influence uh, earthquakes also so what what I was saying about this bridge bridge collapse okay we you all know about that like two two days ago um, the Francis Scott Key Bridge located in uh, Baltimore Maryland was struck by a cargo tanker or vessel loaded to the brim um, with containers there's something I just saw uh, something online here something about saying that there could be CDC hazmat containers that were on that so whether that is true or if anything would happen with that it doesn't it doesn't seem like that or if that's just more signaling you know as far as biological threat or a new development in that area goes you know what I'm talking about and that the black black box aboard the vessel apparently was shut off moments before or a minute before it struck the the uh, truss or whatever you want to call it supporting structure beam column that seemed to cause that sudden collapse like that there was a comet going by what this is is it seems like totally a major perhaps one of the most major signals that we've we've seen yet supporting whatever's going to happen or whatever's ready to happen we don't know exactly when but again my sense very strongly even sitting here right this moment deep inside something major is up now maybe the eclipse will pass nothing will happen and you know we don't we don't know we don't know or if it's just more major gaslighting up to some future point uh, the comet that uh, streaked by in the uh, footage of the of that vessel that hit that bridge seems to to point to and indicate possibly probably um, the eclipse with the comet the devil comet and also that's shown in ipad go 2 so there's a lot of symbology and, and seemingly relates to all of this with that so-called accident i viewed the footage and it doesn't look that way to me whatsoever um, I mean, you could speculate on these things, for instance, the lights going on, staying on and off and on and off with that ship. Could that signal some kind of um, power outage and, and so forth? Electrical grid or some kind of event that could happen. Does it have to do with this eclipse? What, you know, or not? So. So uh, Francis Scott Key wrote the National Anthem of the United States and um, it seems like that event with the ship has to do with, as Israel Diego Rivera said, the end of the U.S. That seems what it seems to be signaling right now and, and heralding this type of thing. And it all seems very bizarre and mysterious but the question is um, is this the end game is this the final finale here the home stretch and that's the big question and that's only just a matter of again you have to just wait and see so we also have to wait and see if if and when there's other events that come to pass up until this eclipse and, and right after it if things happen or not 
And to me, it just seems like there's a lot of activity going on with all of this indicating things are about to take place. Frenetic or electric kind of feeling in the air, like you sort of just sense, you sense things. Anyway, that's how I've been feeling and I continue to feel that way. I sort of want to keep talking, but I want to keep this short. And uh, I don't want to say too much, except like I just said, we just have to wait and see. Because it's very likely that there's going to be other things happening up until that point of, of this eclipse. But as believers, we're waiting for the rapture. That's rapture. That's what we're, we're waiting for. And that's the hope um, involved in all of this. And one of the uh, Illuminati game cards, it says, uh, I don't know exactly, but it says something like, it says rapture. And it says tape runs out or something like that. So despite what the darkness is doing, there's the light. Jesus is the light and he's here and he's ready to come for his... For his church and um, remove believers from all of this you know all this darkness and all of this uh, threat and evil that's ready to come upon the world I guess I'm ready to close this out but I feel two different ways I feel differing about that like I sort of want to keep talking like I feel maybe there's something more that I have to say although there really isn't except that maybe maybe everything is closing out maybe this is all closing out and it's at the last stage and it's very possible it seems like major news and events are in the making with um, England uh, the monarchy things going on right now I think that that's in the in this play in play here and about to become front stage news it is right now and also maybe like with this bridge that happened this incident here in the US maybe something like that with a, br a bridge in London or something along those lines uh, signaling events uh, taking place are ready to happen there also. So it, it could be a very interesting next few weeks and beyond I guess. Alright I suppose that'll that'll do it for now alright so oh boy so just wait patiently our hope is the rapture that's what our hope is God bless.